Hello guys, welcome to Learning Microcontrollers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to interface a two pin or you can say two wire proximity inductive, sen inductive sensor with a PIC16 FA77A microcontroller to be used as a metal detector. So we are making a metal detector using a proximity sensor. So let's get started. So guys, this is our PIC16 FA77A microcontroller having 40 pins. It's a DIP version. This is a proximity sensor I'm talking about. It is a 220 volt AC operated normally open proximity sensor. To interface this with PIC, we will need some basic electronics and electrical equipment. So let me show you what we need. We will need a 14 pin Omron relay. It's a 220 volt AC operated relay. You can also use a magnet contactor as well, which operates at 220 volt or any other relay found in the market, which operates at 220 volt. That will do real fine. So the triggering coil must be the 220 volt coil. So this is a wall socket. This will act as our 220 volt AC voltage source. We will take 220 volt AC from the wall socket. And these are three LEDs. They will blink whenever a metal is detected. So in short, whenever a metal is detected, these three LEDs will turn on. Now to interface it with the, this with a pick, we will need a 10 kilo ohm resistor, which will act as a, either a pull up or pull down resistor, depending upon your requirements. So let's let me show you how to wire it up. First of all, on the 14 pin Omron relay, you will see there is a, a pin named as 14. Th this is a triggering coil. Uh, you can say pin triggering coil pin. You connect it directly to the blue wire of your proximity sensor. Then the wire or the pin named as 13, you connect it to the neutral of the wall socket directly to the neutral of the wall socket. Then the next thing is you have brown wire of your inductive proximity sensor. You connect it to the line or phase wire of the wall socket like this. Now, this is nine pin of your relay or the common pin. You can use any gate. It has like four gates. You can use any gate as you like. I'm using the pin nine com connect the com directly to the ground. Then the next pin is the normally open pin. That is pin number five. If you are using other gate, just use a normally open pin. Normally open pin will go is the, our signal pin. This will send the signal to the microcontroller. You connect it to the one end of the 10 kilo ohm resistor like this. Then the same wire from the same end will go to the any available digital input output pin of the pick. I am using pin number D2 that is pin number 21 or it is a pin uh, port 2 sorry port D pin number 2 or port D pin 2 second pin of the port D. I am using as a digital input pin. This will take the input signal from the sensor and we will we can program it whatever we as we like to program it. In this case, it will be used to blink the LEDs. In some other cases, it might be used to display the value on the screen, etc. The other end of the resistor will go to the 5 volt voltage source. And we are using the PIX voltage source. So in this way, guys, our connections for the sensor is complete. Now to display the output, I am going to use these three LEDs. I connect one LED at D1, second LED at D0, third LED at C3. So they are pin number 18, 19, and 20. Three LEDs will be connected at three pins. The smaller pin of the LEDs will go to the ground and you can use a 220 ohm or 330 ohm resistor as well here for the power pins. But for the microcontroller current is low, so you do not need it. So guys, in this way, our connections are complete. Let's get to the micro C for pick programming. Guys, this is our micro C for pick. Let, let me zoom it in. I am using a version 5.6.1. You can use any available micro C for pick. There are some differences in the latest version. I suggest better you use the same version. Click on next. Write the name of the project. Okay, metal detection using proximity inductive. Okay, that's great. Select your microcontroller. I'm using PIC16 FA77A, 20 megahertz crystal. Click on next, 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 and finish. Now, first of all, we will need to declare output pins. As you can see in the presentation, here we have pins like D1, D0, and D0, D1, and C3 as our output pins because they will hold the LEDs. So first of all, you write trace C dot F3, see that's pin number 3, C dot F3 is equal to 0. It means it's an output pin, give some initialization delay delay ms 
20 will be enough okay this trace register is used to declare input or output any pin of the pic microcontroller i had declared pin number c3 as an output pin because it will use it will hold the leds led now for d2 we have d dot f2 equal to 0 same pin number 2 of the port d oh sorry it's 1 and sorry 0 and 1 not 2 okay pin number d0 d1 are also the output pins now they are now declared now for we should give them an initial value like port c dot f3 equals to 0 it means the initially leds will be turned off 0 is for output and this 0 for port c it will keep this pin in off state so when the program runs they will be off by default so now also do for the other pins d1 and d0 so this is d1 d dot f1 and this is d dot f0 let me verify it before we further go further okay it is c3 d0 and d1 okay it's c3 d0 and d1 okay let's go back to programming so guys we have our leds initialized or we can write it as led initialization complete here now we have our button so uh, so button in short this relay will act as a button let me show you how whenever there is a signal like this pin com com is going to directly to the ground and this pin is going to the the digital input output pin that is d2 while this is acting as a pull up or a pull down resistor you can send a one or you can send a zero in this configuration it will send a zero a zero will be sent whenever the button is pressed because it's a you can say a zero configuration so guys in this way we are using this 10k resistor now this is basically a switch whenever this sensor gets a metal it gives a 220 volt signal to this coil it is only on the line c phase phase do not goes directly to the coil it is like a switch in between the phase whenever a metal comes in front these two get shorted and this sends a signal directly to the coil and after the coil gets a signal this relay operates so this is normally open this signal is normally open and this is calm they get shorted and because of this it acts like a button like a button is pressed then because of this resistor and this configuration it sends a zero to pin d2 then we program the zero as we like so first of all we declare port d or oh sorry trace d dot f2 equals to one it's an input pin so we give some initialization delay 20 millisecond will be fine now see it's a one and it's a zero zero means that the pin is output it can only hold leds or give output signal one means it's an input like for buttons and this is also like a button normally open com gets shorted with normally open it becomes normally closed and we get our signal like when we press a button same thing happens so in this way we will get a zero so it's initialized as an input pin now we give it an initial state that initially what it should be doing d2 must be at one see oh sorry it's port port d dot f2 must be at one initially why because as i had told you in this configuration when the resistor is connected to 5 volt in that case we will get a one if it is connected to the ground side here then we will get a zero oh sorry zero one in this configuration we will get a zero only whenever the button is pr pressed we will get a zero at pin d2 it's a zero configuration so we have to program the zero not one now see we will get a zero whenever the button is spread so initially port d dot f2 must be at one when it will be pressed it will turn zero so while one now our forever loop starts here we program it as port d if sorry if port d dot f2 double equal to zero like the button is pressed then all three leds connected here these leds should turn on which are currently at zero like this they will become one and we do do not need these delays because they will turn on as soon as the metal comes in front so whenever metal is detected 
all three LEDs will turn on make it 100 millisecond that will be better like this now when it is not pressed else when the button is not pressed then opposite should happen all three LEDs should remain off which they are in the initial state initially they are off like this they all are zero so whenever the button is not pressed they should remain zero but additionally this port D dot F2 this should remain one because it should be one whenever the button is not pressed because initial state of this is one here because we are using a zero configuration so it should be one so let's see let me introduce you to the hardware before we burn this code build it now let's get to the hardware So guys, this is our hardware. This is our PIC16 FA77A microcontroller. I'm using PIC3.5 PIC burner, PIC kit 3.5. And this is a Omron 314 pin relay. It is connected as shown in the presentation. And this is our proximity inductive sensor. This sensor is a 220 volt sensor and normally open. AC normally open and operates at 220 volt. See? So guys, this is the sensor I'm using. You can use it in the larger version as well. It's a 5 mm. You can use 10 mm, 16 mm as you like. And these are the three LEDs which will turn on as soon as the metal comes in front. So guys, let's begin. So let me show you. This is already plugged in here. I bring a metal in front. At this time, the code is not burned. Let's see what happens. First of all, turn off your pick. Here we go. Okay, now Okay, let's restart the picket 3.5. Okay, it restarted. First of all, select your microcontroller, pick 16 F877A. There it is. Now go back, build it again in case it's not built. Go back, click on file, import. From there, this one is the name we wrote. Click on write. Okay, our code is being written as you can see new code is being written okay pick is burned successfully now before I power it up let's check what happens without pick see I bring a metal in front relay do operates but LEDs do not turn on because our program is not working right now now let me turn on the pick and see what happens now I go back to pick it 3 I give 5 volt from the pick okay now pick is on now see I give I bring the metal in front now see I was not bringing the metal correctly see the metal comes in front LEDs turn on see when it go goes away it turns off see it's on away it's off see as you can see guys our coding is working fine as it should work as soon as the metal comes in front LEDs turn on else they remain off see so they are on you can see there is a delay it's not working very perfectly but it is working right so let's remove it go back to the micro C for pick here let me zoom it in as you can see there is a delay in turning off it's correct that we gave a delay here we should make it less like 50 will be enough in my view because for metal it's a quick job and you remove this delay we do not need this delay like this this will do fine this will increase the speed so once your code is working then you can adjust the speed by removing delays but first of all your code should work now we reprogram it click on write Okay, our program is working ag writing again. It's rewriting the new program. Let's see what happens. We simply removed some delays to increase the speed. Write it again. We burned it again. So let's see guys what happens after removing some delays. Okay, the new code is burned. Let's check it again. It's a 5 mm sensor. Metal should come near at least 5 mm. 
see now it's fine it turns on immediately as soon as you bring in front of, of it the metal see metal comes in front 5 mm at 5 mm distance LED is turned on as long as it's near it remains on see do you do not have to touch it just bring it near see it's not touching the sensor see so guys I hope you learned something from this video thank you very much for your time this is working exactly fine see I bring it in front our pick gets a reading now you can use LCD or anything or triggering or opening close a door or developing any other logic by using this method it's not necessary that you only blink the LEDs you can do anything from this sensor this is an industrial grade sensor and easily available in the market so guys and apart from this inductive sensors can only detect metal see I bring it in front of it my hand nothing happens but if it was a capacitive it was to blink but for inductive only it works with metals see So guys, thank you very much for your time and have a nice day.